Previously, we have taken on a journey on the Paleolithic era of human society. There, humankind had discovered farming, animal husbandry, and I had the chance to fight a few mosquitoes. And now, we're heading to Sada Obona na So this is uh, the fence village. The fence village. So defense on a on a peninsula. So is that where mm -hmm. human civilization start start becoming less inclusive? Hmm. When they actually start putting borders around their house? Hmm. When they start to realize that you when know, they start to call hmm? things. <laughs> the oh, could you please for once stop being so bloody goofy, mate? You know. I'm trying to make a serious human out of you, but yet you keep making my job harder and harder. Oh my goodness. As your black historian would actually tell you is for a long time when the world was singing Kumbaya and then one a-hole messed everything up. And now humanity have to build a fence to keep away from the a-hole. Let's go, shall we? Siri, where did you marry this guy? Located in Biskupin, in Poland, this archaeological museum is modeled, it's like a life size model of a Bronze Age. Well, late Bronze Age, mind you. And it's very well known in Central Europe. So were these like communal houses and stuff? I assume so. Yes. That would make sense. It wouldn't make sense. So, so they were well, inclusive. Oshedle, so that's our neighborhood. Yeah. So Oshedle, Obrone, uh, Ludnoshchi, Kulture. 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 Okay. Yuzhet. No. Yuzhetskia. As the sword begins to settle in the horizon, display this great, beautiful, Fortification village. Oh, okay. It was at this moment I came to this epiphany. This place and this city where your great 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 ancestors used to shag while keeping others from shagging their woman. And that's how you came to be. A product of shagging. Now onward, ladies and gentlemen, have kind of we have a city to sack. Back in the days, in the bloody medieval era, they would have slashed your head right oh, off. I would have stood a chance. Do not tell the enemy. It's the only way out. So we're going in. Yeah, that's what I said. No, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. A fortified city and the Bronze Age. This was reconstruction of it, yeah. Thus, there will be some exploring to do. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. This is cool. Oh, okay, so you can stand on these. That's fortified. <laughs> like your election. Emotional damage! Oh, how dare you, woman! Try to get me in trouble with my AI overlord. Don't you know such things should never be questioned? Oh, this looks interesting. Let's take a look, shall we? It appears that we have made it to the Flintstones apartment. I think this used to be the bed. Right here. Yeah. Eh, so we had bunk beds. 
or your kids. <laughs> I mean, you know, whatever works. This is the kitchen slash living room. This is awesome. Could you imagine walking around on these raggedy floors? Oh, modern men, we are so spoiled. Oh, it's my time for the goofy accent again. Well, as we all see here, we are taking a trip back in time. And where the first wooden floor was created to make life easier for women. For women? <laughs> Why for women? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lay the patriarchy. You could you could actually hide up there on the roof. Could you imagine living smell. in this era, being woken up by the fresh smell of piss? <sighs> Welcome to the Bronze Age. And look, there's like ah. Uh, okay, now I understand why this road. Okay, because if you look down there, I don't know if you guys can see. That's where all the like water and things drained off, so you don't walk in the muck. Ooh. Hey, another open house. Huh, you, you, you see, you see what I get? Ah, never mind. It's a real estate joke. This one is slightly different from the previous apartment complex that we actually visited. So we have parents and children sharing the same bed. How come they had so many kids? Boundaries, people. Boundaries. Jesus. Mate. They used to marry their children at the, at the age of 12. Right <laughs> I don't think they were thinking about boundaries back then. Well, time to climb the stairs to get to the back of the village. I have never seen such structure with so many wood. That's <laughs> what she said. And when the enemy coming from the back, you get to slash him right here with arrow slits. Oh, look at that shot though. It's a beautiful shot indeed. Well... I'd have had to wake up to a sight such as this every morning. At least there would have been some upside to it. Looking over at the agricultural land, the sheep, so on and so forth. Ah, it must have been beautiful back then. Well, now we are moving on to the next phase of human evolution. Stay tuned, follow me. So, earlier, if this was the ghetto of civilization, this over here is the suburb where people in general decided we're no longer sharing apartments. Nobody likes apartments. Of sharing bed, an apartment, and decided to get their own American dream. <laughs> With individual apartments, individual houses where men and women used to argue in peace <clears throat> and their kids used to go to their bedroom for punishment and all these other good stuff. <clears throat> no, I know I'm not getting the history right, but God damn it, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This isn't too bad. I could see myself living like this. So long that I still have Wi-Fi. Plenty in the modern world. This is the best time to be alive right now. Yeah, you want to live in here? Imagine being born in that period of time. It's no good. electricity, yeah. totally off grid. No Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. You can't go on Twitter to complain. About your your woman won't create no OnlyFans. Man, I wonder why cavemen used to. Um... Ne never mind. <laughs> <laughs> These homes were not open to the public, but we were still able just to have a sneak oh, peek. Yeah. It's not too bad. I wonder what a cave woman would look like in OnlyFans. Shelves and everything. <clears throat> this is the end of our tour, where we had the world, we had the chance to see the how modern man went from primitive all the way up to the modern era, and we are grateful. We got Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Amen. Ah, uh, alas, this was a beautiful tour. Thus, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever find yourself in Poland, I definitely, and I mean definitely, recommend the archaeology. Uh, let me try that again. The archaeology. Archaeology. Arche, arche, the Prehistorical Museum. Yes, come check it out at Biskupin. Farewell, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time. Ta ta. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.